Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's Let's Talk About This. On our conversation today, we'll be discussing required minimum distributions, aka RMDs. Uh, my name is Alex Stanton. I'm one of the financial advisors at Full Circle Financial, and I have as a guest today on our call, uh, Shibli Klee, our principal financial advisor. So let's get started. So thank you, Alex. What is an RMD? It's a required minimum distribution. So what happens is throughout your life, you have an earned income every year, and you know your taxable income from all the different sources that the IRS wants to tax you on. And when you make a contribution to your 403B, your 401K, a 457, or your individual retirement account, the IRA, um, and then there's some others, you know, SEP IRA, any form of an IRA, you're deducting that amount from your taxable income. So by default, what's happened is the IRS has not been paid yet. And boy, are they impatient because eventually they want to get mm -hmm. their taxes out of your money. So as these accounts are growing, the contributions you've made, they're accumulating growth and eventually the IRS is done waiting and they require that you take a minimum distribution. These can also be called MRDs. That stands for minimum required distribution. It's the same thing. Right. So when are they done waiting? Well, they're done waiting when you turned 70 and a half. That's when you started uh, needing to take these distributions. But that all changed last year, didn't it, Alex? It sure did. And that kind of takes us into uh, the SECURE Act here. So um, SECURE Act has a very lengthy name. We're not going to go through all that. But it was enacted January 1st of this year. And the big biggest change with that were that distributions now begin at age 72 instead of 70 and a half. So your first distribution uh, would come out by April 1st, following the year in which you turned 72, okay? And so the other thing to know too is if, if you had already turned 70 and a half by December 31st of 2019, you still have to maintain the old schedule and begin distributions right away. But if you turn 70 and a half here in 2020, you get to wait a little bit longer to start making those first uh, distributions. Um, next, though, we're going to talk about another update to RMDs here that matter quite a bit here in 2020. So the biggest question that most people have is how much do I have to take? So here's a nice IRS table. This is the timetable that they use to calculate whether you're with whichever company you have, your IRA, your 401k, any company you have uh, your qualified dollars with will use this table to calculate how much do I need to take. So in the first year on this current table, it would have been about 3.65%. But the thing that we have to remember is, is that now that it starts at age 72, they are going to update this table. The percentages won't change. They're just going to update it to reflect now. At, you can see here it says 70 at the first starting age. Now it'll be 72, of course. So the other thing to note, too, is that if you are married and one of the spouses is 10 years younger, there is a separate timetable for that. So check with your financial advisor for that specific one. But let's move on to the next big change here in RMDs for 2020. So the CARES Act, of course, for coronavirus aid, relief, and economic security was enacted on March 27th here in 2020. And the biggest thing that came out of that was that RMDs are not required. And with that being said, you know, there may, may or may not be some reasons why you want to take it or don't take it still this year. So many of my clients will already have enough income this year. So this extra RMD income is something that you know, it might be good to skip so we don't have to pay taxes on some additional income. But if you were already using that RMD because you needed it to supplement your income or because you were using it for charitable donations, may still be a good thing to take it out this year. But please keep in mind, you probably want to consult with your financial advisor to see what makes sense for you in your specific situation. And lastly, I want to note that if you do have accounts with TD Ameritrade, I know a lot of clients we have at Orion and their custody there at TD Ameritrade, TD Ameritrade will uh, cease any automatic RMDs that were coming out here in 2020. So if you do need that distribution still, you want to contact your financial advisor right away just to make sure that those come out on time to you. Okay, well, that's all we wanted to go through today. Thank you so much, Shibli, for being on this call and, and taking us through um, RMDs and all the updates. And we hope to see you next time. Thanks, Alex.